Having fun in here. This is my set for my film for Mother. Very nice. Is that one of my organic apples, Philip? They're quite expensive, actually, and you seem to be going through them quite quickly. Health kick. That's quite obvious. Was there something you wanted? Oh, yes. Um, I've invited some of my friends from the finance end of things to come around here and discuss some of the motivational schemes I've been cooking up. Oh, right. Well, when's that? Thursday. Well, that's OK. I'm at my toy dog therapy class on Thursday, so I won't get in your way. Well, I want you there as well. Why? We'll need some food. You want me to cook? Well, they'll need feeding and I want to impress them. Listen, it's in both our interests to get on their good side. If they like my schemes, which they 100% will, then they'll basically be financing our future. <laughs> There's only 12 of them. 12? Okay, two things. A, I'm a holistic person. I don't cook. Cooking is too menial and grounding for me. And B, I definitely don't cook for 12 people. But C, in your heart, you want to. In my heart, I don't want to. This is the face of a woman who definitely doesn't want to. And this is the face of a man who thinks you can. Oh, don't try your motivational mind tricks on me. It just won't work. You disappoint me, Constance. You're being very negative. Well, that's me. That's just the way I am. You'll have to take them down McDonald's or find someone else to cook for you. I'm going to my class on Thursday and you can't stop me. <clears throat> Hello, it's uh, Sonia, isn't it? It's Clara. Clara. Clara, I wanted to ask you, do you cook as part of your culture? Do you make goulash and things like that? You can't ask her to do that. We don't pay her to cook. Uh, um, I cook something Oh, no, 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 not now, but um, Thursday? Oh, Thursday is big problem. You see, she says Thursday's a problem. Just leave it. So I know how to talk to these people. <clears throat> 20 pounds? And who knows? It might be a more regular thing. Uh, this is so embarrassing, Philip. And a personal touch. The personal touch always works. <laughs> Do this for me. Hmm? I'm sure you cook for many people. You come from big family, yes? Oh, just ignore him, Clara. Don't be so patronising. £25? £27.50? Uh, it's not an option. Uh, oh, don't I, say no. I try. I'm sure you will. <laughs> See you Thursday. Hmm? You have got to be that apple. You have got to make such an impact that your boss takes a bite of you and goes, Hmm, that tastes good. I want more where that came from. My speech tape's missing. Constance, are you listening? I said the tape with my very important speech on isn't here. Oh, really? It looks like this. Okay. You're not even looking. I know what it looks like already. I was just trying to finish this article on food and trauma. Oh, you were the last one to use the camera for your hard-hitting directorial debut for your mother. Oh, I should have known you take such a sarcastic attitude towards my taste <laughs> mother. You know, it's very important for me to contact her at this festive time of year. It's very important to me to find this tape. It's my New York lecture. You know, the one where Donny Osmond walked out halfway through. It's got all my best moves, best phrases, and I can't work without it. Oh, calm down. Have you checked in the case? Yes, yes, I've checked in the case several times. There's nothing here. <sighs> Were there any tapes in here when he first took the camera out? I don't think so. There wasn't a tape of the camera to begin with, was there? No, no. I remember seeing a stack of your tapes on the table before. Mm -hmm. It was probably one of those. Clara was cleaning in her earlier. She's probably tidied it away somewhere. No, no. I remember seeing a stack of your tapes on the table before. It was probably one of those. Clara was cleaning in her earlier. She's probably tidied it away somewhere. Oh, no. Doesn't she realise the value of these things? Of course not. Why would she? Unless she does realise the value of these things. Well, what does that mean? Well, I'm thinking maybe £27.50 wasn't enough. Maybe she felt she had to get something of mine to get a bit of extra cash. Are you saying your tape is worth money? I charge £50 an hour for a rental of one of my speeches. If someone's pirating them, I stand to lose thousands! 
Well, I think you've got an overactive imagination. Well, you're just blind to her cunning, then. <laughs> well, I'll have a word with her about the tape and see if she reveals her cunning nature. <laughs> now, can you get this mess cleaned up, please? Martha's here in a minute to talk about the Christmas decorations, and I've got to get on with the salad. What's the most important thing about the apple of knowledge? I'm asking you, just think about it for a second. What's the most important thing? Hmm? Seeds. Apples have seeds, don't they? Now, which of these are we going to have in the office? I think we should say no to red or gold, don't you? Are they going to clash horribly with the carpets? And we spend so much money on them. It seems stupid to let them be spoiled by some tacky Christmas decorations. <laughs> it makes everything look very odd, doesn't it? It does if you don't know how to work it. I was quite surprised how quickly I picked the skills up, though. I could show you if you want me to. No, it's all right. I think I've got the hang of it now. Yeah. Oh, we could take it to the Christmas party. You know, Adam's been practising his Celtic break dancing, especially. I bet he'd love a record of it. We could use it as incriminating evidence and blackmail. <laughs> Well, to be honest, dear, I, I, I think I've just had about enough of that thing. Philip's been in such a mood all week about this missing tape of his speech. Oh, I wondered why he was shouting so much. Oh, I must apologise. I mean, he really loves you, you know that. He didn't mean all that. Hmm. I just wish he wouldn't use such foul language. Surely the tape's around here somewhere, though. Well, I was the last one to use the camera. I was recording a message to Mother, and I'm very logical. So, I think Philip may sadly be right. I think we're looking at a potential theft situation here. But why would someone steal a videotape? Well, think about it. It would make a fortune on the black market. All Philip's delivery contained in one tape. People could steal it and make a fortune. They could get the great plum jobs that should go to Philip. Hmm. So you think someone broke in? Well, we started to think it might be Clara. Who? Our cleaner. Oh. oh, I feel absolutely terrible accusing her, but I can't think of any other solution as to where the tape has got to. I know she's got a lot of money worries. I mean, her bank manager must be a Russian with a baseball bat, but I just wish if she's short of money, she could just ask me for more instead of just, you know, stealing from me. Mm. And I remember you saying it was for her more than you that you took her on. Exactly. Oh, now, let me introduce you to Santa. <gasps> Inspiration, your guidance, and your knowledge will last long after the last piece of gun has been chewed. <laughs>